I painted the boots and belt with charred brown and highlighted them with a mix of charred brown and hard fire. I painted the fur with rucksack tan, then I highlighted it with bone white. I painted the stones with German grey. I applied Rackard Flash to the teeth and skulls, then I highlighted them with a mix of Rackard Flash and White. I covered the metal parts with a mix of black metal and rust. I used this same color combination for painting the cauldron. I really love this color, it looks like natural raw iron with a small corrosion. I dry brush the stones with wolf grey. I painted the rest of the base with dark earth. I 
I dry brushed the base with sand paint. I applied a water-based mixture with brown earth pigment. I painted an apron with wolf grey, then I highlighted it with white. I painted the sword and shield with a mix of black metal and rust. I covered the metal parts with a mixture of dark red rust pigment and isopropanol. I painted the cut of heads with dead flesh. I applied black paint to the rims. I painted the cauldron stiff with red gold. I painted the ropes with sand and highlighted them with a mix of sand and white. I highlighted the metal parts with steel paint. Using a mixture of dark red rust pigment and isopropanol, I added some corrosion to the metal parts. I painted blood using Tamiya clear red paint. I added the hooks to the chains and adjusted harness to the butcher.
I inserted the filling part to the cauldron and that's it, I decided not to add the gnoblars. Their funny comic look doesn't correspond with horror look of the butcher. The finished model looks like this. Thank you for watching, please like the video, comment and subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this movie, please share it with your friends, I really appreciate it. Thank you, cheers.